guys, good morning. Welcome back, it's K to B Karen, and we're gonna start off our drill of today morning. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, uh, both Shruti underscore KX, also it's K to B Karen. These are my two new Instagram handles. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to um, follow to get the most recent updates about everything. Um, and of course, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you would get the latest updates whenever my new video comes in so you don't have to regularly manually check it yourself. Hey guys, today's video is specifically to better understand how does the water system work here in Canada. And um, I do know that a lot of students, they come into Canada and one of their first questions is really how does the water system work in Canada? Which I think is a lovely question to be asking, but to be able to better understand the situation, I wanted to create this video so that we're all more mentally aware of how the water system really works here in Canada. So to begin with, I feel like whenever you're going to drink water or use water in general for your kitchen cooking purposes or in general water to drink, of course, um, when you're using those water in the kitchen, um, it's so important for you to understand that there is no filter here in Canada, which is why when you're trying to genuinely um, I would say drink water here in Canada. Um, you genuinely have to make you genuinely have to make sure um, that you're trying to get yourself a filter to maintain yourself and be more healthy because there's no other way out. Because I would say if you're drinking water from the tap, as we all know, that there's a lot of bacteria that comes with it, which is why it is so important for you to make sure that you're drinking um, water that does not have bacteria in it. So this is the reason why I would personally suggest a lot of people to buy something called as the Burrita. Now, what is the Burrita? What does it really help? What does it do? Um, and why am I suggesting you to get a Burrita is basically because when you're drinking water from the tap, there's so much bacteria. So if you're just, a lot of people here, they would go straight from the tap, which is perfectly fine. Um, I wouldn't say there's a lot of harmful bacteria in the tap. It just depends what your standpoint is. Um, and what you feel about the water system. Now, for me, my whole life, I've been drinking water from filter, so I personally do not feel comfortable drinking water from the tap. However, there are people who have been drinking water from the tap since, um, you know, since they were born, so they feel comfortable, which is perfectly fine. Of course, we're not gonna judge, but I personally felt like the filter was the way out for me, so I bought something known as the Burrita. I believe that I did mention this in one of my other vlogs where um, I was sharing, like, the things you I did mention this uh, where I made the vlog about things that you should be bringing and buying, especially if you're living in residence. So that is the first thing. The second thing is that when you're living here in winter, there is hot water from the tab, so you could drink it from the tab if you want to. Uh, but if you're trying to get like hot boiling water, I personally would suggest getting a kettle. Now the reason for that being it's more efficient, it's more quicker, you could boil the water if you have a pot with you, you can just get water from the tab and boil it off. That's something you could do too. But I would say that when you're living here during winter, you would not have the capacity, the mental capacity to literally get out of your bed early in the morning and boil water. So getting the kettle, I think, is very helpful because it kind of ensures that you can do things more quickly and it's also going to give you its maximum boiling point. So with that in mind, I hope that you're able to better understand how the water system goes here in Canada and I hope by the end of it you would be able to get yourself a kettle and a burrito if that helps you and yeah that's it for today's video and I'll see you in my next video bye